Hey love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And thank you for stopping by. And for my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the love and support. You know, the questions you ask me, the advice. You know, just the blessings and the kind vibes and, you know, the love and light you send me as much as I'm sending you. And for that being said, I'm so greatly for, appreciated for that. And just for you sharing love with everybody else, too. You know, when you comment on other people's comments, I love that. When y'all, y'all don't know how I be sitting up there crying, like, you know, like somebody's mom to somebody's kids, they're graduating. It's like, oh my God, I'm so proud of y'all. For But anyways, for that being said, much love, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming for y'all. And the beautiful, enchanting music I'm listening to, um, if y'all can hear it, I hope y'all can, um, it's called Very Powerful Meditation Music for Positive Energy, Instant Remove, uh, Remove Ener uh, Negativity, uh, 957. So, yes, and the video, um, of the content of my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we can't acknowledge, we can't fix what we don't acknowledge. Can't fix what we don't acknowledge. I mean, y'all going through this blood moon, this lunar eclipse. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I had to get me a drink today, y'all. I had to get me a drink. Because, you know, every once in a while, y'all might send you with a wine glass. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be positive here. So, I don't want people thinking, you know, I'm, you know, I'm out here just drinking and stuff like that acting crazy but you know some days you know some people need a hot bath some people need to roll a blunt hell some pot somebody need to have a nice mimosa you know whatever you got to do to calm down but it's just like we're going through so many things right now so many different shifts you know there's so many people going through some really traumatic stuff right now you know um you know, I'm friends with people that are going through, through different shifts, different emotions, and, you know, different situations that, you know, we, we got to go through in so-called life. You know, it's really hard. And, you know, especially being an empath, oh my God, you know how we're always wanting to help people. You know, we know, you know, some of us, when we, we, when we start being able to fill people out and we we can feel the vibration that they give off. We, we know when somebody's trying to take a, advantage of us. You know, especially where I live at, I see a lot of panhandlers. And there are some people that are actually out there that have situations that are really going on. And there's actually people that just, you know, are just begging. And I just can't stand that. And it just really makes it hard for people that are really out there that needs help. Because, you know, there was a situation just a few weeks ago that I was about to be homeless. You know, I was about to really just walk away because I just got tired. I just got tired. You know, because you get tired of dealing with drama that is very unnecessary when you're trying to grow. You're trying to have positive things in your life. You know, but we need to acknowledge it. We can't just run away from it. We can't turn a blind eye and act like, oh, okay, well, if I don't pay attention to it, it's going to go away. No, it's not. It's just going to manifest and manifest and manifest. And then it's going to explode. And the most tragic things can happen. You know, I had to find out the hard way with mine. I lost my father because I ran away. You know, even though he tells me not to have guilt over it, I don't because the situation of how it was presented to me, you know, was based on lies. You know, but when I started finally finding out the truth, I said I wanted to know the truth. But when it got too heavy for me, I wanted to run because I didn't want to feel that pain. I didn't want to feel like my family really did this to me over money. You know, nobody wants to feel like, you know, they don't want to they don't want to feel unwanted. But there's somebody out there that's for me. There's somebody that's out there, you know, my, my family that truly loves me. They just don't know the, my end of the story on why the reason why we have not been in contact yet. But it, it's just like something I had to acknowledge because I was like watching different YouTube videos. If you're a YouTuber and we we com comment converse a lot now i haven't got to your channel yet please forgive me because i you know dealing with this lunar stuff and y'all you know if you watch my video if i have not been in contact with you yet we got a lot going on right now we really do 
you know, I try to keep it real with y'all. There's so many people comment on me. Rosalind, I love how you keep it real. Yes, I keep it real. Yeah, I, you know, I have a, you know, marijuana and cigarette addiction. You know, every once in a while I have me a 211 or, you know, a glass of nice wine. You know, I, I don't have no problems admit my flaws. I don't. I suffer from that a lot. I mean, you had a life I live, hell, you better do something. Or <laughs> you're going to go crazy. You know, but us being hey okas, we are fierce warriors. And I've told y'all that before. We are fierce warriors. We have endured so many daggone things that normal people probably would have it would have been hell on wheels. It would have been hell on wheels. We'll kick, we'll scream, we'll probably beat somebody's up. I almost said something else, so I said somebody's up. You know, you you know it you never know because we get to that point where if you let things fester and not acknowledge the things that you need to fix in your life because you're always trying to understand why is things not getting better for me why does it seem like i keep attracting more negative than positive because this is what you are sending out these even if you don't say it you're thinking it and i had to learn that for myself even though i don't put it out into the world because if you say i don't and you attach it to, to something if you say i don't and you attach it to something you're basically you know bringing that to the forefront of your life and you don't want to do that you really don't you if you there's something that you feel is negative to your life like if you you're in a situation that you don't want to be at you just present to the world when you especially when you're frustrated i know it's hard to do that because especially you know if you're just da -da -da, you know you sometimes we talk to ourselves we'll be in the mirrors and start you know da -da, you know we'll, we'll do that and you want to vent, you want to let it out. But the, when you when you say I fear this, and you attach it to something or whatever you're going through, you're presenting that into the world, and you're like predicting to bring negative energy into your life. And it's just like there are so many days where I wish things were different. <laughs> I can be in a place where I can be comfortable. You know, I don't have to be all uptight in my own you know, my own surroundings. You should never be like that. So it's just like when you're going through things, you have to be able to nip those in the bud. Face the fears for what they truly are. Whatever is hindering you back, holding you back, you have to face those things. Because if not, it's just going to take you down a spiral. Just a spiral. And, I mean, it can really be unpleasant, especially when you're going through the kundalini stage. You're going through the ascension or just a natural awakening. You know, we, we go through really tragic things. And you're like, is it going to get any worse? You, you don't want to say that either. You know, you always have to try to place yourself in a positive place. And I know it's hard to do, especially if you have situations like, Rosa, what are you talking about? You don't know my life. I definitely don't. I definitely don't. I honestly don't. That's that's the part I'm trying to show you. The things that you need to pay attention to in your life. When you're trying to find yourself out that rabbit hole. You're trying to see things for what they truly are. You're seeing people start to take masks off. And you're seeing things like, gosh, have they been like that? Yes, they've been like that the whole time. You just weren't paying attention. And then, you know, it could be co-workers it can be best friends it can be spouses it could be family members and you'll start noticing a pattern that they went through when you just turned the eye like oh, okay they must have been having a bad day or oh you know i'm not going to take that personal even when you shouldn't but you need to pay attention to things you can't fix things if you don't acknowledge them and like i said i had to really truly coach myself on that today because when i saw when i got like i said i found it on a youtube video and the, it was these women talking about these dramatic, dramatic weight loss issues. And I mean, I guess it was like on TLC, it's like my 600 pound life or my 1000 pound life. And these women really had some serious health issues because of, you know, genetics or thyroid problems or depression. And they really didn't want to, they didn't feel comfortable in their own skin. They weren't happy that way. They, you know, they want to be active with their kids. They want to be able to date. They want to be able to move out of, you know, just out of a chair and out of a bed. You know, they want to be able to be active and they couldn't do that because of their weight. So they went to a doctor, got their, uh, you know, weight loss 
uh, surgeries done. And I mean, these people are like six and seven hundred pounds. And next thing you know, they're like as small as me. And I'm like, oh my God, she looked good. And I'm crying because I'm so happy for these people. Because I knew when I was, you know, I wasn't really that big, but I wasn't comfortable where I was. I can look in the mirror and cry because I didn't like the cellulite, the big overweightness, you know, the depression, because I was a data entry clerk. So I sat down and ate with my boss all the time. And I didn't even notice the weight that I was picking up because I was so depressed going through things with my family, not understanding why things were going the way they were. So I binged eat. You know, I was going through a stressful eating stage and, you know, I gained almost up to 265 pounds. Right now I'm like probably at 133, 132. So it was like I got to that point where, you know, it, it got to that point where I was just stressed out, binge eating, crying, you know, uh, smoking weed drinking to the point where I was throwing up you know I was really going to that I was going through a downward spot but it's it's a good thing when you can put it out there and not be shameful of how you used to be because that's not how I was you know there's days where I struggle where I'll have a glass of wine but it's not like I need that to get through the day I've never been a the drinker like that but it was at that point where when I got off the addiction of painkillers and anxiety pills you know um when the next thing you know so like you know how some people say you know you drop one habit and pick up another one I did you know I drank you know to cause ease my pain you know that's what I was always around my my aunts and uncles drank until they either passed out start fighting acting sloppy drunk but I wouldn't really get like that I was always happy you know telling everybody I love them they always called me the flower child I was just the love child you always want to tell people I love them but that's how I eased my pain I wasn't facing it I was running from it not wondering why you know a person I never thought would even look at me was appearing in my dreams and it's just like you know I was always a fan of my dad and never knew why he was appearing in my dreams all the time and I was like you know either see something in the dark and not noticing what it was and it had a you know ominous like voice and I'm running from it but that was the monster I've created in my head because I fear what I don't see so I created something that wasn't even there when my dad was just actually chasing for me. So it's just like, since this lunar eclipse has been going on, it's like it's making me go and walk down memory lane. Like me and my mom, I remember things that me and my mom talked about. Like I used to cry telling my mom all the time, you know, I have a twin out there. You know, I know I have a twin. Why do I feel like I have a twin? And I would cry about that. She was like, girl, what are you crying about? I have a twin out there and I'm missing it. You know, I'm missing, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but I'm missing my twin. And she was just like, what are you talking about? I never knew anything about twin flames then, but, you know, I was like 14, 15 years old. And, I mean, I was going through, I guess you would call that identity issues or whatever, because I really didn't fit in with my family. I really didn't. And it was just like, when I look at things now, and it's just like, you have overcome so many struggles. You have gotten a lot of strength from the issues that you've had. But there are still some things that you need to face so you can surpass all these things. And I guess they're making me go through them tonight. So I hope you're able to get something out of this video. I hope you stay blessed and stay safe. And, you know, you were able to make it through with the blood moon, lunar eclipse situation. It really took a lot of energy out of just making the first video. It took me about five hours just to go ahead and make this one. I knew something was going on because usually I'm able to make like eight videos in one day. <laughs> eight videos in one day, maybe even ten, just to spread them out throughout the week. But it's just today, it's been so draining, you know, listening to my friends' problems and wanting to help them and, you know, going through my own issues and, you know, trying to deal with that and you knowing it's going to be okay, but it's just trying to deal with this funky feeling or whatever and the shift that, you know, you need to let stuff go. But anyways, I hope you were able to resonate, you know, remember, drop a line, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would all be greatly appreciated. So now as much love and light and positivity is possible. 
and know that if you're going through something this too shall pass knowing your current situation is never your final destination remember that keep a positive thought drink a lot of water and meditate and i will see you on my next video know that you are loved blessed and highly favored and know there is always somebody out there praying for your better good and i will see you on my next video stay blessed stay safe and stay responsible peace and be wild